Good morning folks, Matthew Boxler here. Today we're going to talk about how we create our agreements in life and what else is possible with those. So let's start with a few questions, okay? <clears throat> so when you were younger and you grew up with the people you grew up with, your family, the people you loved and cared for, or that loved and cared for you, what were they saying to you non-verbally about agreements, about relationships? Just like, mm. what was I hearing in my head or seeing by watching how they set their lives up? Okay, so stepping into a, starting with this space of curiosity. What was going on there for me at that time? How was I receiving? Whose points of view was I buying as, you know, the right way to do things or the wrong way to do things? Now, while all of those, you know, were valuable things when we were younger, because we were fresh, we came into the world, we had nothing going on, it seemed, and the people who surrounded us, who cared for us, who kept us warm, who fed us, who held us, did we have any reason not to trust them? No, we were more of our spiritual selves. We were the energy of total allowance and total trust that things were going to work out good. And if not, we could choose something else. So now let's rush forward, slide forward to this moment while we're talking now. And now if we inventory all of our relationships, whether they be one-on-one -on -one or one-on-many, -on -many, our business relationships, our friends, are they still being created from all of those things that were modeled for us in our younger years? Hmm. Okay, so let's say for option A, they are. Let's say we're choosing all of our relationships because they have a familiarity, that's short for family. When anything's familiar, it's something you learn from family. Um, and we're continuing to create from those, all right? All right, being an allowance, interesting point of view, and then asking another question. Okay, what would I be choosing here with these relationships I'm in if I were truly choosing for me? Can you ask that question of yourself? What would I be choosing here if I was truly choosing for me? And be in that space of curiosity, inquiry, question. And ask in the universe, universe, could you show me how different these might be? Now, the reason I'm asking you this is because if you're watching this video, you probably saw the title called Family Agreements and How to Be with Your Family in a Different Way. But really, it's looking at the depth of choice we have in our lives that we might not have actually seized. We might not have grabbed it and said, ah, I'm in choice here. I forgot because I made something back there more important than my choice. So what new way of choosing relationships could you be choosing that's not based on the old familiar or family ways that you used to be choosing? You get that? And asking a question is this powerful tool that's it's kind of new for most of us because you know how many of us have been trying to find the right answer keep it in place and keep moving forward so when you ask a question many doors open and when you ask or when you conclude something and project it one door may open okay <laughs> and you know the reason I'm bringing up the question thing is twofold one how many times have you decided I'm having this relationship with this person in my business or personal life and it shows up and you're like uh it's not quite what I wanted dang what else is possible right so if we go in and clear all those spaces where we decided and concluded our family agreement structure and form was the only way the best way the correct way for us to create our future then does a new future show up for us do new friends show up for us? Do new possibilities show up for us? I don't want to say yes, but it's pretty much yes! Okay, so how do you do this? Start by destroying and uncreating all of the agreements you made with your family members. Now, does that mean you're divorcing them? No, 
what it means is that you're getting rid of the energies that are holding them as solid and unchangeable which is destroy and then going to the uncreate which is where you pull back your creative energies from that relationship that you are not allowing to be present in the rest of your life because in that familiar space that was the only place you could have them right so your uh, homework for today I would suggest around family agreements is would you be willing to sit down for a couple minutes doesn't have to be a big deal and just ask what agreements do I have with my mom my dad my sister my brother my neighbor my babysitter whoever those people were that you grew up with and as you acknowledge whatever energies come up use the pock and pod statement to clear all the agreements now, if you want a full explanation of the Pock and Pod statement, please go to theclearingstatement.com. You'll be able to get it from Dr. Dane here, who has a marvelous explanation of it in depth and in detail that I really feel will give you more of a feeling and a sense and a knowing of how the clearing statement works. Short version of the clearing statement is this. Everything that was holding me connected to that so I can't create something new in the future that's different Will you destroy and uncreate it? So, there's your homework. Um, I hope this applies to your life right away. If it does, please use it, and we'll look forward to giving you guys some more useful content to create a different future uh, soon. Okay? Bye, guys.